Hello. In this activity, we are going to go over diode logic. And let's design an OR gate and AND gate with diodes. So if you notice, if we place diodes in parallel, so I'm going to do a couple of diodes here. So I'm going to call this V1, V2, all the way to Vn, okay, parallel. Here we have a resistor to ground. This is our output voltage. What we see is that if any of the inputs is high, then the output is approximately going to be high, I assume, 5 volts. Okay, I'm going to say high 5 volts. It's going to be the input minus 0 0.7, so 4.3 volts. So it's going to be a logic high. Right? And so this effectively is implementing an N input OR gate. You can notice. Consider, for instance, V1. If V1 is high, the diode conducts, and the voltage that you have at V1 is the voltage at the output is going to be V1 minus 0 0.5. And that will happen with any one of them. As long as you have Vn high, the output is going to be Vn minus 0 0.7. So you get a logic high. We can also create an AND gate by tie this to 5 volts of some resistor, and then we tie the diodes to ground. So what we have here is that if all inputs are high, Right, so around five volts, a logic high, then V output is high, right? High. Otherwise, if any input is low, if any input is low, we get V out approximately equal to 0 0.7 volts. Check this out. So if all the inputs are high, here we have, this is V output, the output is going to be high. They can even be not, con not conducted, right? So this is no, no voltage drop, no current, they're all open, high output. If any of them is low, let's consider V1, let's consider that over here we put zero volts or something close to zero. The diode conducts, and therefore we're going to get a 0 0.7 volts, or the output is going to be whatever you put at the input, plus 0 0.7. Assuming that this is a logic low, like around zero volts, you will get an output of 1.7 volts for any one of them. So all of them need to be high in order to have a high voltage. Now it says here, state the limitations of lo diode logic design. So there are disadvantages. Let's put them here, the disadvantages. Okay. The first one is that the output that you get is lower than the input, right? By 0 0.7 volts, for instance, we saw it here, 
right? And this, if cascaded, if you keep cascading them, eventually V out becomes low. No. The other one, it's not possible to create an inverter. An inverter. Does it mean that you will never are going to use diodes this way? Not necessarily. It's not that this is not how we are going to do large scale digital logic design. Now, in an analog application, if you are a situation because you are interfacing with some IC where you need to do a simple OR operation or a simple AND operation, you can certainly use it. I mean, just place the diodes in parallel with a pull down resistor to create an OR, or in parallel with a pull up resistor to create an AND. This is a very simple design. And remember, you just have to remember that in the OR, for in, if anyone is conducting, what you have is your high minus 0.7 volts to give you your, your logic high, or in this case, all of them are off, so you get a pull-up resistor output go to 5 volts, high uh, logic, or logic high, high, but if any of them conducts, so let's imagine here, VM is zero, then all of a sudden you do have a conduction, and just so to know that you're going to be with a voltage at um, 0 0.7 volts. So here, 1.7 volts before, that's if you put a 1, but otherwise it's 0 0.7 volts. Thank you.